Welcome to another Shift OS 0.0.7 preview episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to convert a real skin into a Shift OS skin, step by step. And as you can see, I've added a new feature here. This is Alpha 4 of 0.0.7. This new feature here allows you to actually see what windows are open. So you can see that I've got TextPad open and there's um, a panel button or a taskbar button, whatever you want to call it. Terminal is open, so there's another one there. And if I open Pong, well there we go, you can see Pong's up here too, and if I close um, TextPad, then it just moves across. So it's a fully functioning, what I'd call taskbar, whatever you want to call it. You can also minimize Windows, so I can minimize Pong, it's minimized, then I can maximize Pong, it's maximized, it's all working good. There's also a new feature called Unity Mode. So if I type in the terminal, Unity Mode On, I now have access to my Windows applications, which now can overlap Shift OS Windows, and my Shift OS applications on the same screen at the same time. So I've got my little launcher up here for Shift OS applications, I've got my launcher down here for Windows applications. If I wanted, I could hide this Windows 7 taskbar and do an XP theme and just use the XP taskbar. So anyway, I'm going to turn Unity Mode off. Now just note, Unity Mode is very useful for when making skins that are based on other operating systems. Also, there we go, you can see that there is the minimize button there, so you've got the full three buttons that you can skin now, rather than just two buttons. I'm going to go over to the skin loader, and I'll just show you some other skins. We're going to load a skin. Now, this is what I'm going to show you today, how to make one of these files, so a .skn file. And I'll show you how to make the skin as well, as well as just the file. And if I click apply, there we go, instantly it looks very much like Windows 95, even with the little, you know, start button and the taskbar buttons there. And if I click load skin, we'll just quickly show you XP, and then I'll show you how to make one of your own skins. So here we go, there's XP, apply, and now it looks very much like Windows XP, and you've got the Windows XP task buttons, all the three buttons at the top, and it's just... <laughs> Amazing, it really does look like you're using Windows XP. Now we're going to make our own one. Okay, I'm now going to turn Unity mode on so that we can use both Windows applications and Shift OS applications at the same time. Now this is going to be great for when we're going to make our skin. So I'll show you the skin we're going to make, and this can be a little bit annoying when you've got the XP overlapping this. You can always hide the Windows one. But now what I've got here I kind of like this Ubuntu, you know, the applications button and this bar and what these look like. But then at the same time, I don't really like the Ubuntu window skin. So, I'm instead going to go for this industrial theme in Tails. So I'm going to use the Tails windows and then I'll use the Ubuntu desktop. So here we go. We'll start off with the Tails window. We want to copy this, okay? So we want a window that looks identical to this industrial window theme here. So I'm just going to click Capture Screen, or Control Print Screen. So I've just printed the screen here. And I'm going to use this program, Fireworks. This is a great program to use. And as you can see, there's our little screenshot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom right in here onto the title bar. That will be our first task. You can see there's a corner here, and on the other side there's another corner, and both these corners are curved. So that's something we've definitely got to consider when we're making this skin. So the first thing we need to copy is the title bar. Now I'm just looking side to side at the title bar, and I can see that it is the same throughout. So if I copy just a little bit of this title bar, let's copy it, and then we'll just confirm that it is the same throughout, we can now see that the height is 23 pixels. I'm just going to cut that now, and I'm just going to paste it over here, just to confirm that it's exactly the same. There we go. As you can see, the title bar is the same across the whole length. So, let's grab this, cut it out of there, and we'll open a new document now, and we're going to paste it in. So here we go. This is what our title bar is going to look like. And we want this title bar stretched across the entire top of the window except for the corners. So let's go up here, I'm going to click File, Save As, and I want to save it in a folder here. Now what I'm doing is I'm saving it in my Shift OS, so my Windows C drive, in Shift OS, Home, Pictures, Skins, and then I'm going to name this Skin Industrial. Now you can save these images wherever you like. I'm just putting it in a nice skins folder because I think that's a nice easy way to access it. But it does have to be within the C slash Shift OS folder. So you can access them from within Shift OS. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this title bar save. 
Now what I'm going to do now with this title bar is I'm going to go back to Shift OS. Okay, I've just switched um, to the Ubuntu skin, just <laughs> the Windows 7 task bar was driving me nuts. So I think that's easy to have um, the Ubuntu thing up there. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with altering these windows. So, we're first going to open up the shifter. Go up here to Windows. Title bar. Now where it says title bar color, I'm going to right click. Now remember this release is quite buggy. Alpha 5 won't add any new features, it'll just fix bugs. So I highly recommend you choose a graphic before you click one of these buttons. Anyway, I'm going to ch choose a graphic now. Pictures, skins, industrial. Here's the title bar. Open. And there you can see it like that. Now this title bar, how big did we say this was? It's 23, so in fact it's the same size as the Ubuntu skin. I'm going to have it tiling across, so this little image is tiled across. Imagine lots of them next to each other. Now I'm going to apply that. Now you can see the top of the window is blue. The next step is we're going to do these corners, because as you can see, these corners are supposed to be curved. So let's do these curved corners. I'm going to just copy this corner here, of this window, just from this point. Because that's, as you can see, the point of change. So that's five pixels in, yeah. Because everything here is all the old stuff. But everything down to this little pixel here is all different stuff. So that's where we're going to stop it. So that's, once again, 23 high. So I'm going to cut that. There we go. That's the image. Now, I want this to be curved. And I can't leave that blue in there if I want it to be curved. So what I have to do is I have to actually cut that blue out. So I've pressed Control X. Now you can see that there's a white background. But what you actually need to have as a background is the RGB value 101. So a lot of graphic editors do use um, hex rather than RGB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in RGB 101, which looks pretty much like black. Convert to hex, and that's the hex value, 010001. So that's the um, hex value that you need to use to ensure that the background is transparent for Shift OS. And we're going to save this as title bar left, because it's the left side of the title bar. You can call it whatever you like, though. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to move on to title bar right. So here we go. Just grab this, and I'll cut, put it in here, and I'm going to call this once I've um, cut out the background. Control X. So I'm going to copy that hex value, 010001. Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to save that one now as title bar right. Okay, now that's the right side of the title bar. Now let's set this and see how it looks. Left corner, I'm right clicking. I'm going to center this and title bar left, open, apply. There it is. Now it doesn't look transparent there, but you just wait. Center, browse. Now when I apply, as you can see, it is curved. Now next what we're going to do is we're going to copy the buttons because these buttons look a little bit out of place with the Ubuntu buttons there. So let's come over and copy the buttons. I'm going to copy this button. Now a lot of these sizes are the same sizes as the Ubuntu skin. So everything's 17 pixels but you've got to make sure that if you're copying a button that's 22 pixels make sure that you set it in the shifter as 22 pixels. Okay, so I'm going to save this. Now let's grab the next one. This will be our Maximize button. Okay, File, Save As, and then Control V to Paste. We have the Minimize button. File, Save As. Okay, now I'm going to set each of those buttons. I'm going over here to Buttons, Close Button, Right Click. Now I'm clicking Center just because it's the exact size. If you're copying something that's the exact size, just click Center. So this is the Close button, Apply. Now let's go over to the roll up button. Now we've applied all of these, let's apply changes. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to copy the side borders here. Now there's a trick with this one. Look at the bottom of the border. The bottom of the border is this color, right? And then as you come up here, see how it fades. So you can't just copy one little bit of this. I can't copy this, otherwise it'll copy part of this fade here. And I can't just copy this, because otherwise it won't match up very well with the title bar here, where the corner is actually darker. So then that would look like, oh yeah, it's light, 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 and then suddenly a big dark, and it, just, it would just look awful. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little trick. We're going to copy from the bottom probably about 9 pixels. There we go. Control X. There we go. I've copied 9 pixels. But I actually want to make this canvas up a little bit bigger. I'm going to make it 10 pixels. Because 
there is one more little element that I need to copy. I now need to copy the very top one here and paste it at the, the top. Now I know this looks crazy but we're actually going to do a trick here. So what happens is we want that to become a gradient. So I'm going to save that now. Save as. I'm going to call it right border. When I go to open this, here in the right side, watch this. Right border. Now what I've done, if you do center that's not going to work. If you do tile, <laughs> it looks dodgy. You can see the little, you know, point tiling over and over again, that darker bit. But if I do stretch, the top does a little gradient there. So I'm going to click apply. And as you can see, look at that. That side of the window starts off dark at the top, just like the real industrial theme, and then it fades down nicely into the light colour. So that's some little tricks you've got to look for when you're copying skins. So you've got to think, okay, how could they have done this skin? And you're like, ah, you just put this little dark bit at the top and then you can make it fade with the stretch effect. So always have the stretch effect in mind when you're using skins, because sometimes you do have that little darker point and stuff like that. Now I'm just going to copy the other sides. This little bottom corner needs to be copied, one, two, three, four, five, and I need to use that same RGB trick. Okay, this is five by five, I'll just get rid of this background. Okay, and set it to the proper background. File, save as. Now let's do the other side. The bottom border here, as you can see, is perfectly light throughout the entire thing. So, I'll just grab a five pixel little grab of it. Got it. And I'm gonna save that as the bottom border. Let's see the left border and see does it do a little trick too. Yeah there we go, it does that same trick where it's dark at the top and then it fades that light colour. So we'll copy it uh, just the same way as we did the other one. Okay, so that was the left border. Now let's apply these last little bits onto our skin. There we go, left border, apply. Now we need to do these two little corners. So I've just done um, centre for these corners because as you know the corners were just 5x5 five five and it's a perfect fit. So bottom left corner, apply, apply, that looks really good now. Now that we've done the actual windows, we're going to move on to the desktop. Now for this desktop background here, I'm just going to grab Ubuntu 12.10 background. So I'll grab this background from OMG Ubuntu, grab it straight from the browser into here. There we go and I'll just name it background. Now I want to grab the Ubuntu stuff, put this in, okay so we want to copy this top bar now, let's see, it looks like this top bar yeah, is perfect all the way through, it doesn't have any um, alterations. To grab a start button type object, so you just grab all the way up to the point of the first word, so applications, if that was a Windows XP start button, you'd grab all the way to the start button and maybe a little bit of the taskbar, so you've got a bit of blue in there because I do know that XP is curved. There we go, that's 135 pixels, I, I like to keep it even so I can remember the numbers. So I'm just going to call that, I've got, I've got this habit of calling it the start button for some reason, so I'm just going to call it the start button. Now we're going to grab 5 pixels of this bar at the top, and this is um, 24 pixels high, so keep that in mind. So we've grabbed a little bit of the bar, and I hope you um, get used to this process. It's really not that hard to just look at a skin okay and grab the elements you need from it. Once you know what to look for, then it's pretty easy, and the time year is in the same thing, so we've got that there sorted. The last thing I need to grab from Ubuntu here is the um, taskbar button. So I just want to see if this um, top bar is the same as the bottom bar, so let me just copy a bit of the top top bar and we'll paste it into the bottom here because when I'm copying these buttons I want to see if it's the same thing I'm copying it from. Oh yeah, okay the bars are the same, okay so that makes it really easy when you copy this button. So that's the whole button there, got to make sure you do it perfectly. Now because the bar is always going to be the same at the back we don't have to worry about chopping out the corners but there is one thing we do have to worry about that's getting rid of all the text on it. So the width is 239 pixels, that's a pretty annoying width. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have to copy and paste a bunch of little um, bits of this taskbar over and over. So I've just pasted a bunch here all the way to the end. There we go. Okay, and there's our button. I'll file, save as, and I'm going to call that taskbar button. Now I think we're ready to go back to the Shift OS desktop, file, terminal, Unity mode, off. 
So unfortunately, because I tried to hide the Windows 7 taskbar while the program was running, it's gotten a little bit confused, and now it just will show it on the Shift OS desktop, which is pretty annoying. But um, I'll get rid of it once we save the skin, then we'll load it back up. So what we're going to do is we're on desktop now, going to desktop panel. So the panel color, I'm going to right click, and it will be, what did I call it, taskbar, apply, and since the time has no, it's not like Windows XP where the time is in its own little extra light blue thing, I'm going to change the background here to the same thing as the main taskbar, so I'm just calling it taskbar, tile, ply, that's odd, it looks a bit different. Aha, uh -huh, I think it's the time I've typed something in, or height 26, maybe, ah, I see what I've done. The height of the actual button, let's see what it was, it was meant to be 24, okay, so I've got to make this. Panel has to be 24. 24. Apply. There we go, that's better. I think we'll change the desktop background just to get that um, Ubuntu look. Browse and background, open, stretch, apply. There's a few bugs as you saw there, but don't worry, they'll be gone um, once I release the next version. There we go, there's the Ubuntu background. Oh boy, it looks blurry. I really don't like that. It's we're going to go to App Launcher, and I'm going to right-click this main button here. Don't worry about the other stuff, you can't change that right now. We're going to go to Center, and we've got to choose the Start button, or whatever the button was. Apply, Apply Changes. Now, I've got that too high, that needs to be 24, and the size of it was 135. Apply. There we go, Applications. Now we're going to change the little buttons up here. The taskbar buttons. Now you go to panel buttons in here. This is a little secret area. And we're going to choose button. There it is. Open. Apply. Now what was the size of it? It was 24. Okay, so it was a 24 by 239. So we're going to make it 239. Size 24. Apply. And there we go. We've got the Ubuntu buttons. I can't say I'm exactly a fan of this skin, but there we go. That is how you make a skin. Now, once you've made your skin like this, the way you save it is you go up here, you open Skin Loader, and this shows you a preview of your skin. You click Save Skin. You choose a spot where you want to save it. I'm going to call it Industrial, and I saved it in my Documents folder in Shift OS. Save, and that's actually how you save a skin. So if you quit Shift OS now, now if you open Shift OS, you can go to the skin loader to load your skins that you've made. There's a preview of the skin. Apply. And there we go. There is your skin. There does appear to be a problem with the desktop backgrounds right now. That will probably be fixed in Alpha 5. I don't know what is going on with that desktop background. With Shift OS 0.0.7 Alpha Full, I'll include this skin and the other skins I made. Um, what I'll do as well is show you a special code you can use to earn some code points really quick. You just simply type in 05 tray and you'll get 500 code points. So if you guys want to test out and make videos of your own skins, go ahead. The skin should be compatible with 0.0.7 Alpha 5, because Alpha 5 is just going to be a pure bug fix, because as you saw, there was a problem with the desktop background there, and it just, yeah, it wasn't working very well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a skin for Shift OS. I will see you in another Shift OS preview video. Goodbye.